Russia lacks most of the modern medical supplies. Medicines are becoming more and more expensive every day. According to analytical companies, the price of painkillers has risen the most in Russia over the past year. About 84% of Russian medicines are made from imported active ingredients. Russian manufacturers confirm it themselves, the Commerçant Edition writes. Medicines manufacturers are ready to replace European suppliers of substances and components with companies from Asian countries. Viktor Dmitriev, general director of the Association of Russian Pharmaceutical Manufacturers. But now the supply of products from India and China has been complicated by changes in the terms of cooperation and the indirect impact of sanctions from an article published by Commerçant. Due to the lack of raw materials, some medicines are at risk of disappearing from the shelves, for example, antibiotics. The domestic Russian market cannot produce high-quality medicines since there is nothing to replace European equipment with, and it is impossible to import it because of EU sanctions. In Russia, I think they take the same formulas to reduce the cost and not for pharmaceutical production but just as a chemical substance, which can be with impurities. And of course, the bioequivalence of such a drug, that is the compatibility of the action, may be lower. Anti-tumor, anti-allergic drugs, antibiotics, antipyretics, cardio medicines are in short supply in Russia today. They could not cope with the problem using the so-called import substitution. Russia is running out of drugs for the treatment of kidney failure. This is reported by the Vedomasti publication. But the Ministry of Health of Russia assures that the medicines will be replaced with domestic, cheaper ones. All international clinical trials some of which were conducted in Russia, were stopped. That is, they are still ongoing in Europe and United States. We ran out of catheters, and we can't work without them. We can't film the vessels of the heart without them. We can't treat a heart attack. We can't treat chronic coronary heart disease. At the beginning of this year, the Russian Ministry of Health compiled a list of scarce goods. It includes 97 items, including aspirin, paracetamol, Kovalol and even iodine. In general, Russia is waiting for a total decline in medicine, analysts are sure. Reported by Diana Kulesnik, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.